Okay, we got in. What's up, you guys? It's your girl, King Callie, back for another dispensary haul review video today. And today we're gonna go ahead and review Harborside in San Jose, California. I think it tastes like weed. Thanks for watching, guys. Now, Harborside is rated as the lowest dispensary in the South Bay for Weed Maps, so it's coming in at 2.6. So this does also classify as visiting one of the lowest rated dispensaries for me. So this is going to be a kind of two-in-one talking about them and talking about the lowest rated dispensary there. Now, I will say as far as an ordering process, it was easy and quick. I ordered online. I showed up, I showed them my ID because I ordered online. They do have a separate check-in desk area, so you just go right to the front, they have your bag ready, you pay them, and then you leave. If you didn't pre-order online, then you're gonna go through the queue to wait in line with them. They're gonna check you in, you get to go through the products you want, then they check you out and you go. You're just not gonna be in the same as the easy check-in line. Now, as far as convenience, on a scale of one to five, I will give them a four. I will say I did have a little bit of trouble finding the actual front parking lot. I ended up parking in what was the back, which I thought was the front, but they did have a closer area you could have parked in so you could just walk straight in and out to your car. Instead, I ended up walking behind the side of the building, which I'll show you guys a little video footage of as well. So that was kind of like my only issue. As far as customer service, I'll say they were friendly. There's nothing memorable about the customer service. It was just a hi, how are you, get you checked in, checked out. I wouldn't say it seemed too crazy structured or too over friendly. It was just kind of in the middle. So as far as a customer service on a scale of one to five, I would give them a three. They weren't horrible. There was nothing wrong. No one was mean or rude, but no one was also very informative or talking about the products or asking, do you have any questions about the products or anything? Um, so I want to go ahead and I'm going to start drinking this. I already opened the soda pre off camera because I'm really bad at opening um, jars that have like the actual like beer type cap lid so i wanted to open that before i got on camera and failed and i did fail i got it everywhere but it's fine i still have the soda i'm still going to show you guys the close-up of it as well now this is keef cola so it's cannabis infused classic soda this has 10 milligrams of thc in it i'll go ahead and say it does taste like a coca-cola soda a little kind of muted so kind of like how a pepsi tastes but it's not also the same like a uh, spicy hit you get from a pepsi so it's kind of right in between there i don't taste any thc or weed from it which is super cool um and yeah so let's go ahead and also get into their chocolate so i got some chill chocolate this is a cbd chocolate base it's 10 milligrams of cbd so cbd is supposed to be able to help with anxiety help with um you know just cancer help with um kind of relieving some stress as well but without having to worry about the high and the thc effects that you get from being high off thc so this is just pure cbd and 0 0.2 milligrams thc so very very little um cbd in here and it also says that this is cannabis derived and full spectrum this one i'll say has a nice texture when you bite down on it, it's more of a solid chocolate. It's not like a Hershey where it's just going to straight and melt in your mouth. So that's nice. It also means it does um, weather better. So when I was driving from San Jose, so South Bay back to the East Bay, it didn't melt on me, which was my biggest concern, you guys. I swear, I was driving and I was like, I hope this doesn't melt. Because I had the cold drink, I knew that it would also kind of help me. So I was like, ooh, well luckily get to going on that let me also show you guys the pre-roll so i'm gonna go ahead and open this up i did do a pre-roll close-up of the packaging but not the actual pre-roll itself let's go ahead and open it up so it has the nice childproof packaging this is doctor who which is the reason why i purchased this from um harborside because i wanted to try the doctor who pre-roll this is by key this is a one gram pre-roll grown in salinas california um, their website is keycannabis.com to use light tip inhale and repeat at your discretion grown by um, flourish farms cultivation 
distributed by Flourish Farms Cultivation. So let's go ahead and get into this. As far as THC percent, it has 15.41% THC and no CBD. Doctor Who is a cross strain, I believe, of Time Wreck, and it's another strain on here. Um, Mad Scientist, I believe. I will double check and, of course, put the inserts there, you guys. This is super childproof. I was assuming I take off that sticker there. Yeah. Okay, we got in. Okay, so it's just a raw pre-roll. Pre um, so the raw cone, so you can buy these raw cone um, papers and the filter pre-done and then fill it up. So that's what they did. So it's a nice one gram pre-roll that I'm just going to show you guys right here. Let's go ahead and light it up and see how Doctor Who tastes. Now, before I light it up, let me go ahead and also just taste it with a dry hit. It has a sweet, um, kind of piney and lemony and earthy taste to it. Very much like an outdoor grown flower. And let me see, this was packaged on August 13, 2020, Best Buy August 13, 2021. And we're smoking this at the end of September right now. So it was only packaged about a month and a half ago, which isn't bad at all for a pre-roll. Let's go ahead and get this lit up. It doesn't create a thick smoke in the air. There is smoke in the air, but um, from the dab and then also from a previous video that I did, you guys, where you'll see me smoke, there was a more rich and thick smoke. This is a nice lighter smoke to it. Um, let me also just pull out a little tray. So one second. All right, we're gonna pull out our good zigzag tray. Good old zigzag fashion tray been here for me. We're gonna keep using it. As far as how it's burning, it's not a nice white ash. It's more of like a lighter gray ash. So other pre-rolls I've smoked, when I like a pre-roll, it usually has a nice white ash to it. This one is burning kind of, just even on the inside, it's darker as well. It's like a darker gray. The outside is a more like lighter gray, not like a nice white ash, like some of the pre-rolls I've had that you guys will see on this channel. And let me go over prices a little for you guys as well. So the Doctor Who pre-roll was $8. The Keef Cola was $6. And then the Pure CBD Edible was $3.50. On a scale of 1 to 5 of how I liked the soda, I would definitely give this around a 4. I personally love Coca-Cola, so cola is something I'm very interested in. I don't give it a 5 because it doesn't have one directional taste to me it's like i said muted in between a pepsi and a cola so i think the taste doesn't need a, just a little bit more work on but i really do like it i think it's a nice solid taste and if i drink it more i would probably get a little more used to it for the chill chocolate on a one to ten or sorry a one to five for the chill chocolate you guys i would give it a four as well because it's not melting on me it has a nice solid bite and texture to it this is also a CBD chocolate, so it's not something that I would also generally just have, but I do like it and I do like the flavor. It has a nice medium taste of cocoa powder to it, but it's not something where it's a nice heavy dark chocolate or too light of a milk chocolate. So I think it's right in between on there. As far as the pre-roll on a one to five, I would probably give this around a two. This is not my favorite pre-roll by far. I think this one is okay. I think Doctor Who, just for the hype of it and hearing about the TV show and everything, that's what kind of made me think of it. I don't think that's, you know, it's related to why they would make it, but it's not why it was made. Um, and I think it's just cool, but it's there. As far as the bag and everything, they gave me a brown bag as some dispensaries do, just for on the go outdoor. They had stapled my receipt to it um, and everything and had let me go. So on the scale of packaging one to five, it's a two. It's not horrible because I can reuse the bag. I'm also going to go over taxes on this receipt as well, you guys. So my original price was $17.50. I did not receive any discounts. My subtotal is 
Sales tax, $1.99. San Jose cannabis tax, $1.75. And excise tax was $2.28. So my overall grand total was $23.52. And they did not charge me for my bag here as well, you guys. So overall, my experience at Harborside on a scale of one to five, I would give it around a two and a half to three at the most. I think they do have some things that they can work on. And as far as, you know, it being a cool building, they do have a nice eye popping, eye catching building. If you're driving on the side of the freeway, you do see their building. So they do get traction, you know, based off that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys have any questions or anything, please write them in the comments. I will link my social media. And if you guys want, please like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. King Callie is out. Bye, you guys.